Hi guys, welcome back to this video tutorial on a JSF and JDBC project example. In the previous videos, we saw how to show a list of employees in a JSF view retrieving them uh, from a database and how to add a new employee and store uh, it uh, into the database using JDBC API. In this video, we will see how to delete one employee selected into the list. This is our employees list with the list of employees retrieved into the database. Now we will add a new column here uh, to the table uh, with the delete command to delete each list of the table. Okay, so let's open the, the file of the view, it is this one and uh, we can copy and paste the tag of the uh, of the new column here as the last column before the footer of the table The edge column command link tag is uh, very similar to the command button tag of JSF. The only difference is that um, it will appear with uh, the delete text uh, with a link uh, instead of uh, as a button. The action of the command link is a call to the delete method of the backing bin that we are going to create, passing the employee object that is the item, uh, the current item, and item in the list. In this way, uh, the delete method knows uh, which uh, employee uh, the um, user uh, has selected in the list. So let's come back to the backing bin of this view and create the delete. Uh, uh, method. Backing employees. At the moment, uh, we will uh, leave uh, empty this uh, method. Now we need a new method to delete uh, one employee into the database. So uh, let's add this new method to the employees BO class. Uh, let's copy and paste the code of the method. This method is very similar to the other create employee table and so on, uh, which uh, use the JDBC API. Uh, so uh, here we have uh, the registration of the JDBC driver, the creation of the uh, connection object, the query string to be executed, delete from uh, app uh, dot employees where ID is equal to a parameter. So we are using here a prepared statement, because uh, here we have a parameter. The creation of the prepared statement object. Then we here we are setting uh, the value of the parameter, which is uh, the uh, value of the ID property of the employee to be deleted from the database. And here there is the execution of the um, statement uh, with the returned value uh, that is uh, the number of rows affected uh, 
from this uh, execution. Then uh, finally we uh, close the statement object and the connection object and return the value of, of the number of uh, rows affected from this uh, operation. Now we can uh, come back to the backing beam to call this uh, delete method. So, um, backing employees, we can use here the same object. Delete employee, passing the employee object. Well, now we can run our application and delete uh, an employee from the list. So, okay. We can see the new column with the delete command link. Um, let's uh, delete uh, uh, this uh, employee, Jack Melton. Okay. That's all. Uh, in the next video, we will we'll see how to edit uh, uh, one employee. Uh, to change uh, one or more uh, properties and uh, update it into the database. Thank you for your attention.